Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video tutorial from. It's me again, Peter. Today, we're going to see how to create a device compliance notification message template in Microsoft Intune. Let's get started. All we have to do here is to go to devices. Then we go to compliance policies, then notifications. Once we get here, we need to create uh, a notification in order for us to accomplish this uh, task. We can call these uh, compliance. Oh, how do you spell compliance? Okay. <laughs> Complete compliance test notification email. Okay, that's the name. You can be actually uh, creative with this one. It doesn't have to be so long. So here you can decide to include the header, which have the company's logo, and the email footer, which includes the company's name. Then you can get some information also here if you have one. Then this information is actually pulled from the tenant administration. So uh the information you put in here will pull up here so next most of the time i find the uh, administrator actually putting this in the default settings but if you really want to put your company's website uh portal website link you can do enable for the sake of this video we put it on disable and we click on next here is where you wanted to select your language for the sake of this video i'm going to do english then I will put in my my message right here. You can say the um, the user. Now uh, you can say your device is currently not meeting our organization compliance requirements. So you can also add any other message. Please remember that you have to pull the subject. You can say your device is not compliant. All right. Just a um, quick note right here. You're going to click on uh, default. And once you click on this, you'll be able to go to Nest. But I just wanted to put in something right here that these templates, the notification messages should be clear, concern, concise, and very easy to understand. So if you are doing this in production, please make sure the template is customized to your organization needs and that uh, it can be sent to the user or system administrator in your organization. So once you click on next, you will have the summary of everything that you have done and you can click on create. Here, you can click on it and uh, do send preview email. So you see that we have successfully configured this. Another thing that you can do if you don't like that message, you can go ahead and edit or also modify one of this uh, information. So most of the time you can do it also, you can delete it or assign it uh scope tag so if you don't want this message to go to everyone you can actually do it in scope and with that being said uh this is all i have for you today i hope this is actually informative if you like it please do share like and subscribe if you are a new viewer thank you so much until next time be blessed bye bye for now